Good morning. Welcome to Currents Come World. In this video, we'll see what are iodometric and iodometric titrations. What are the differences between iodometric and iodometric titrations? Okay, let's let us first study iodometric titrations. What are iodometric titrations? We'll see with the one example. Okay, the direct iodometric titration method is called iodometry. It is the direct iodometric titration method. It refers to titration with a standard solution of iodine. Standard solution of iodine in the conical flask. Okay, it refers to titration with a standard solution of iodine okay however iodine is insoluble in water iodine is not soluble and undergoes sublimation that is give vapor so it is dissolved in ka aqueous solution okay let us first dissolve in water ka and then to it add i2 so it will form a complex this is an equilibrium process ka reacts with the iodine to forms ka3 and it will also dissociate to give ka plus i2 okay let us see how iodometric titrations are carried out let us take in burette sodium thiosulfate it is called thio okay in the conical flask let us take ka3 solution okay it is prepared by adding calculated weight of iodine and dissolving ka aqueous solution okay for example 10% ka aqueous solution i2 is dissolved in it ka3 is taken in conical flask what is indicator 1% starch solution is used 5 drops you please add 5 drops to it ok so once you add starch starch iodine complex is formed which is deep blue in color on titration the color disappears and changes to white colorless ok this is an example of iodimetric titration Okay, now let us see what is iodometric titration. So, it is an indirect iodometric titration method. Okay, iodometric titration is direct iodometric titration. This is indirect iodometric titration method called iodometry. In this case, the liberated iodine is titrated in the in the iodimetry, in the, in the previous case, the standard iodine is titrated against thio. In this case, the liberated iodine is titrated against thio. Okay. This is the only difference. It takes place in two steps. For example, oxidizing agent such as K104, copper sulfate, hydrogen peroxide, reacts with the reacts with the ki in the acid medium to give to liberate iodine okay. in the second step the liberated iodine is titrated against to thio so in iodimetry it involves only one step here first in the first step iodine is liberated from ki using oxidizing agents any one of the oxidizing agents in the second step the liberated iodine is titrated against thio okay now let us see an example let us take in the buret thios sodium thiosulfate called thio and in the conical flask 20 ml of hydrogen peroxide or 20 ml of KMnO4 copper sulfate. 
right? And 10 ml of 5% K or 2 grams of K, you can add 2 grams directly to it and dissolve it. And then 10 ml of 4 normal sulfuric acid. This takes place, this reaction takes place in acid medium only. Okay. Now, the iodine is liberated. On adding starch to it, starch iodine complex is formed. So, deep blue color is formed. On adding thiosulfate to it, at the end point, it, the color changes from deep blue to colorless because all the iodine is consumed. Okay. Similarly, we can take 20 ml of KMnO4, 10 ml of Ka, 10 ml of, we can also do the same titration for KMnO4 as oxidizing agent and etc. Okay, let us now see the differences between iodometric and iodometric titrations. In iodometric titration, Reducing agent is directly titrated with a standard iodine solution. In this, there are two steps as we have seen earlier. There are two steps involved in this. The reducing agent, thio, is titrated against standard iodine solution. So, this is called iodimetry. In this step, the liberated iodine, how it is liberated? It is liberated by using oxidizing agent. By using oxidizing agent, it, li it liberates I2 from Ka. Then it is titrated against thio. Okay. So it is a direct titration method. It is an indirect because there are two steps. It is an indirect titration method. The number of redox reaction here 1, here there are 2 redox reactions. Here iodine will get reduced. Here I minus will get oxidized and then iodine get reduced by thio, reducing agent. Thio is a reducing agent. Okay, So it is used to, to quantify reducing agents. It is used to, to quantify oxidizing agents. These are the major differences. Thank you for watching. Please share and subscribe. Thank you again.